the cutting board there. There you go. There you get your hand off. Right where you want it. Oh, looks just like it. Nope, 
I peeled, no, oh, we peeled that. That's okay. Right. I peeled this off. Right down against that bone. Yeah, right down around there. So you get the feel of yeah. how it was. What you need, Dave? part of the backbone. <laughs> Won't get you, promise. Good shot. Mm -hmm. I'll just square this up a little bit and make it a little easier. Like I said, that's part of the gel, but they kind of show it things you don't have. Okay. So, just like it, we want to cut them. Yeah, remember your vein, your veins right there? And you should have that little bone right there. Okay. If you cut it off over here, you're going to get a lot of bone cut. So I always just kind of want to get two fingers and off of that with my eyes and where the vein is there. And yeah, you're looking for that vein. But trim it up however you want to. Remember, you got a bunch of fat on there. Right. Yeah, flip it over. See where you're. And I always just cut. You want to learn to cut away from yourself. Just telling you. Okay. Did you ever slip out? You got the belly there. That knife's going to go in. And I've been wanting to cut cut the fat there too. <laughs> Dude, it don't work like that. <laughs> Okay. So let's head out shoulder. That's, that's your that's the butt again. Oh, that's the butt again. Okay. Yeah. Now so the butt comes from the so shoulder. We, it's the top of your shoulder. Okay. About the picnic. So you can leave it just like that. I'm not grinding that one, right? No. <laughs> you got to <laughs> I'll grab, I'll grind the freaking tenderloin before I grind the butt. Is that a grain? Veins. Veins. Those tend to get chewy after a while. <laughs> don't grind up, but they don't. They still <clears throat> keep the texture. And that's basically your picnic. Yeah, we're gonna make roast out of sausage meat. You, know, you want to roast that one? Yeah. Oh, even a little bit. Of meat. I know it ain't yours. It was black yet. She's <laughs> all Heck, yeah, it ain't yours either. Well, I didn't deny that. Too many kids and too much bullshit. Married with children. <laughs> okay. I would just go ahead and cut it right down there like that. Okay. 
Hey, Saul, man. It's all, it's all you. We don't gotta worry about the grandkids. Well, they're still the ones that do show up. They're too small. I don't know. Paisley likes. I made ribs last over the summer. She was. She had her some of them. <laughs> You want to do a roast on the end. Hold it. Hold it. You said you wanted to roast out yeah. there on that third one end. So just go ahead and get your saw and go ahead and cut that off. It won't be real big. I would just go right in here some some points. You can actually see the disc on, on the spine. Yeah. That's pretty right there. Where's that? If your spinal cord right in there. I don't know. That'll make it easier for you to finish that thing out now. Bet you it don't matter how I cut them, you'll eat them still. I'll eat them, I don't care. <laughs> they could be in chunks. Well, that first batch might have been. A couple of them. <laughs> a couple of them looked like it was chunks. <laughs> <laughs> I was making stew meat. They're not thin. We like them thinner. We we bought, we got, when we had our a pig done last year, we uh, we got one inch. We didn't like them as well. You want some sandwich ones? Quick fry them and throw them on the sandwich? Yeah, how do you do that? This. Those are your breakfast ones. <laughs> just like filet. Side. Just see yeah, just yeah. Yeah. Mouse water. <laughs> Should have brought a skillet down. You can taste it, can't we, John? Oh man, this is right up my aisle. My, my diet. I think that was just a play for Dave to get the knife out of your hand. I right. think, yeah. He couldn't handle no more <laughs> skillet. Like, give me that. Let me do it. 
So that's just then one time. Yeah. 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 About as thick as I make my uh, pork side. This side. My fresh. <clears throat> we eat more fresh pork side than we do bacon. Yeah. Your turn. We'll go back to pork chops. <laughs> 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 So right now we're grinding up sausage, making brats, cheesy brats and maple brats. Joe's the captain of this ship here. And while we're doing that, there's the, we got it seasoned. And uh, then we got fresh pork chops we cut from butchering. And then my mother-in-law and my wife is, we like to season. We're seasoning them and then vacuum sealing. And there you have it. Nice little package of four. And then when we make, we uh, got a little thing here and then we uh, kind of fry some up to taste it, make sure our seasoning's on point. So, uh, stay tuned. So we got this mixer here. That we're These are cheesy brats here. Put the cheese in it and using this mixer gets the cheese tribute. And then when we're done with this, the next batch, this will be maple brats. And butcher day, you always have to test your product. So we got a couple thin, thin chops that we're testing out. And then that's our brat, cheesy brat recipe that we're, uh, we cook it and then we try it. So far, these little, I've never done skinny, real thin like this, so we uh, made some, cut some up already, and they're pretty darn good, so. Joe's now taking the stuff out and putting it in the stuffer, and then we'll, we'll come back when we start stuffing. We're stuffing some cheesy brats right now. So far we got this big pin roll. I was making, mixing up maple sausage and I didn't get the video of this. That's it. And then the ladies are seasoning up fresh pork side. This won't be bacon, this will just actually be fried. Fried this. It'll be sliced, but it'll be nice. We season it and then let it sweat in and then we slice it. But, and, our own, and then our own trial. Grazing board. So we got some some kibasi that was brought. Eggs from here. Yeah, eggs from here. From here. The pork from the pork we just butchered. That's the pork. Um, what do you pork chop. It's sandwich pork. It's, yeah. it's sliced yeah. real thin. Thin pork chops. Uh, cooks really nice, quick, and it tastes. Un and all our season we use is Hollywood Bearded Butcher from Creston, Ohio. We use this mm -hmm. on everything. Really good. So, and even our seasoning. This is the maple maple brat mix. <laughs> We, we made the maple syrup ourselves, and uh, obviously our sausages were grinded. So, but uh, well, I'll catch uh, Joe doing this up on uh, while he's doing this. I'm gonna make up the uh, make up the kibasi. We're gonna do 25 pounds of kibasi. So, stay tuned. What I'm doing here is. We got a bearded butcher, I call up her and they make my seasoning for me. Fresh kibasi for 25 pounds. There's 25 pounds in here. And we pre-season. Uh, and we get it mixed around before we put it through the grinder. And then while I'm mixing this up, Joe is, she's going to go over and record that. And Joe's making uh, maple brats right now as Barb's still cutting up cheesy brats. So... What I'll do is I'll get this mixed and I'll bring you back when I start grinding. Go over and get some of that. It is an art.
Need more, need more casing. Need more casing? Mm -hmm. So. Just got to know where the tip of your knife is at all times. Now that, uh, <laughs> that stuffer there, that's, Joe, what model? That's LEM. That's LEM's 20 pound. 20, 20 pound. Motorized stuffer. With a foot pedal. Yeah, I wouldn't have it without the foot pedal. <sighs> oh, I guess I wasn't doing my job, was I? I was supposed to be rolling that. No, well, you're all right. <laughs> okay, fire me. <laughs> We're just finishing up that, the uh, kibasa. Yeah, kibasa. What's left? Drying it with the seasoning. five pounds. You can get beer butcher and make you whatever, five pounds, whatever. Um, we just go through a lot of kibbutz because we make our own uh, sauerkraut and this is so good with the sauerkraut. So. so what we do, we always grind the broths first and then you're just a little bit left here which don't make the We I just take that little bit out and put it, mix it in with the uh, the seasoned meat, and then grind it, and you never know. And why, that's why we never go take the cheese through the grinder. We do it separate. But there's 25 pounds of kibasi ready to go in the stuffer. Okay, so there's the bacon. There's some salt and pepper and bulk sausage. Big ham and a butt. That's the uh, fat inside for lard. Maple brats, a whole tote, plus uh, this is uh, seasoned fresh sides. Uh, back here is a whole tote of pork chops. These are kibasi. Here is a butt and then two ham steaks. And then that brown box there is full of the fat that we're going to render down. Uh, this is the good fat from inside that uh, makes real good uh, and then we sent a we sent a, a tote of food uh, or a tote of it home with Joe for coming and helping us but this uh, this is a refrigeration trailer we're getting ready to build one of these uh, this is a uh, Amish friends of mine it, it's ran by an air conditioner uh, and it keeps everything at 34 degrees, so. We did pretty good. Last year we did 75 pounds of meat. It took us all day and we didn't even cut the pig up. We just made kibasi sausage and Italian sausage. Kibasi brats and, and uh, Italian sausage. And this year we actually butchered our own hog. I got to learn how to cut it up. And uh, thanks for Dave, to Dave Irwin, my cousin, for helping me. And then, uh, yeah, and then we're, we just got a little bit of cleanup wash. We used uh, bus tubs, so that helped our, our tub liners, meat lug liners. So that helps with a little bit of cleanup. So we only used one grinder. Normally we use two grinders. Now the turkeys hear me talking, so I'll have to let you see, see my boys. And girls. There they are. A couple of toms and they get butchered next week. I think we're going to have a fresh uh, turkey for uh, Thanksgiving. So, well, I'm going to end this video. I don't even think you want to see me wash dishes, but hopefully my wife will wash them. So, thanks for being with us. And uh, here we'll do the. We got chickens coming up on December 11th. We got 50 chickens we're butchering. And then we're going to butcher these turkeys. And I think we got a couple rabbits ready to butcher. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.